Hi guys, this is the J35 uh, Draken from Saab. It's a, it's a Swedish airplane and uh, today I want to show you how to fold this, uh, this airplane. It's quite easy and it is uh, flyable. And uh, let's see. Now let's start as usual with uh, with the name four and let's fold it half. Now open and measure 120 millimeters along this, along the center line. And make folds. Okay, now take this side, this way, and squash the paper. In this way. Make it precise. Match this center line with this center line. And do the same thing in the other side. And your water bomb is done. Now open and measure 60 millimeters along the center line. And fold in this way. Okay, we open and we are going to use this fold later on. Now close again the water bomb, turn in this way, and measure 40 millimeters from this edge along this side. millimeters and fold from this edge up to the mark. Okay. Now measure 24 millimeters from the top edge along this side. Twenty-four and only one millimeter from this edge along this side. One millimeter only. and fold.
Now again, measure 29 millimeters from this edge along this side. And 22 millimeters from this edge along this side. and fold again. This is what you're getting at this point. Now let's fold all the let's do all the mirror fold in the other side. So open in this way. Put the model in this way and fold the mirror. Then open. Fold in this way, matching the other, matching the paper that is uh, under. And again, do the last fold and match. In this way. <coughs> now fold the top uh, angle by sector, bring this side matching with this side in this way and make a fold from this point up to this point in order to shape a little bit the gear intake in this way. Let's do the same thing in the other side. Try to do, to fold it exactly in the same way. And open. This is what you have now. Okay, now, oh, with the model in this way, you remember the, the fold we have done before. You need to make a fold from this point up to this point, which is the end of the fold that we have done. in this way. Turn the model and do the same fold by matching the fold that is under. This way. Now open and slide this portion of paper inside like this. Now we need to make a fold here, a fold that is that will match this fold. In order to do this, let's let's do it in this side. In order to do this, place the the ruler coincident with the, this side and make a small sign here. Okay, now you can fold by matching 
this side here. And your fold will have to, to be, you have to, uh, this fold has to match also the mark that you have done. So in this way, your fold, this fold here match exactly this fold. Okay, now open and simply invert this fold. And now measure 30, uh, 31 millimeters from this edge along this side. 31. And then measure 14 millimeters from this edge along this side. This way. Do your fold. Uh, now you will notice that this fold uh, is a little bit curve is not laying exactly flat. No problem. Just make it flat in this way. It will change a little bit this point, but no problem about this. <coughs> now let's do the same fold in the other side. Let's open this one and let's mirror the first fold. And let's mirror also the second fold. Now you can flat also this portion. I'm not folding very precise, but I want to go a little bit fast. Now you can measure 23 millimeter from this edge, this one, along this side. 23. It's here. Now make a fold connecting this point and this edge of the of the wing in this way now this fold the uh, It doesn't, uh, it is not flat. To make it flat, you, you need to squash the paper in this way. Let's do the same thing in the other side. Let's, let's measure again 23 millimeters let's do the same fold at the same time we we need to make sure that the two fold will be the same otherwise the shape of the wing will be a little bit different and let's squash 
the paper in this way. Okay, now you get something like this. Now turn the model. Now we need to do this uh, small uh, shaping. This one. This small shaping here. Yeah. In order to do this, we need to measure 10 millimeters from this edge along this side. Ten millimeters, and we need also to measure fourteen millimeters from this point along this side. So we are going to measure fourteen millimeters. We are going to turn the model, and we are going to measure it here. Okay. Now let's make a fold from this point up to the edge of the wing in this way don't squash here huh? because we need to squash it matching this point here So put your uh, finger on the mark itself and then squash it in this way. In this way you have done your, uh, your shaping. Let's do it in the other side, I will show you again how to do it. 10 millimeters along this side. Then rotate and 14 millimeters here. Then do your fold without squashing and let's wash. Now let's put the finger here on the mark and let's wash it in this way. Okay, this is the shaping of the two of the two wings. Now, uh, still a couple, still a couple of folds here. With the model in this way, measure six millimeter from this point along this side. Six millimeter and make a fold from this point here. You see the point where the the body of the plane meets the the wing. <coughs> make a fold from this point up to the mark that we have done. in this way. Now match the fold in the other side immediately. And put the model in this way. Now make another fold 
you can see now these these paper heads hmm, put the wing in this way and from the point where the, this paper edge meet with this point mark it and make a fold from here up to here by crossing this point here this point here in this way <coughs> now reverse this fold properly and let's do the same in the other side Now, why we have done this, uh, this fold? We have done this fold because we want to slide this paper inside here. Let's do it. One and Okay. And now we are ready to close the plane. With the model in this position, measure 47 millimeters from the top along the center line. Seven, and measure 12 millimeters from this point along this side. Twelve and twelve. And let's do the fold. Your fold will uh, overlap a little bit this portion. Fold uh, all the layers. make this fold a little bit stronger okay uh, don't close the airplane yet just turn it and measure 80 millimeters from the top along the center line and 20 millimeters from this point along this side This is for the for the tail. Now make a fold connecting the two points here. Fold only this portion. Don't fold the, 
this layer. Just hold this one. And do the same thing here. Try to make it a little bit strong also. Okay, now we can close the plane in this way. Okay. You see, when you close, you must leave this one. You don't have to fold this one inside because this will be, this will, um, will let you hold the airplane when you, when you throw. Let's close it. Let's bring the wing and the head and tail up a little bit. In both sides. And make a fold here. In this way, more or less uh, 12 millimeters. This side will be 12 millimeters, more or less. And make a inside reverse fold. Okay, now you close. Put one clip here. And you can uh, also put one clip here to, to keep it closed. Then this one you can remove. And your airplane will be and your plane is done. You can straighten a little bit the fuselage in this way if you want. And your airplane is done. Of course, when you do it, I put here some uh, some tape just to hold it in position. Otherwise, it will uh, it will open in this way, and this is not nice. So just put one some small tape here, and then hold it here and do it. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, to the next tutorial. Bye.